Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we're going to give you a little overview of what we've been doing the last few days, and it's been a bit of a bit of a pig. We're trying to sort out for the Zappi installation. So, this is the house where we have put that big bad boy in. So that is a fuse box board, a 29 way, um, biggest one that they do for domestic. Um, and I'm gonna quickly run through that part of the job and I'm gonna take you outside and show you all the Zappi install. Said board, okay? So up there, we have got the solar isolation point, okay? So previous installers, what they've done with that is they actually didn't connect any of the CPCs, which is not brilliant, is it? Um, so previous board, if you've watched the previous video, is we had some RCD protection up here that it connected all this line up, uh, and then we had a load of RCBOs and bits and bobs. The house is going through a bit of a transformation. Um, so we went for massively, massively future-proofing this job. So for example, so I'm not the electrician doing a building outside, so or the company that's building that. So we are playing nice and we're all helping each other out, which is fantastic. So we've already put in another RCBO up there for DB3, okay? So that's all ready to go. So one of the main jobs we've got here, obviously we've put the EV charger in, which is all sorted, because also we wanted to harness and know exactly what the solar is doing. Another little job that we did is we put the electric gates in, uh, the isolator, sorry, for the, for the gates, because it wasn't, didn't have one, and it's a pain with the amount of people coming backwards and forwards, hence the reason telehandler just there. So with guys coming backwards and forwards, we needed to put in an isolation so we can keep the gates open, um, so with all deliveries and all the rest of it. So that was another little suggestion that I came up with to make it a lot easier. Now this is a beautiful house. I'm not gonna stress enough how gorgeous this place is. Uh, I can't show you all the way around it for obvious reasons, um, but it is a home to die for. Um, so let's run you outside and show you another example of companies playing nice. So, so we're outside. So, other side of this wall is where the massive consumer unit is. Um, so, like I say, playing nice and all the rest of it. So down here, you might notice a big old hole. So what we've got is our Ultra EV coming through and we have also drilled it this size because over my shoulder, there's a massive garage come office that is in construction at the minute uh, and there's a lot of utilities that are also going to come through so we said look we're going to help out your electrician um, and we're going to core out that hole that was a regret i'm going to be honest not going to lie hey lou that was a regret so that yeah it literally took about three hours um, to core out got stuck as well and in the last bit, we had to use the lump hammer to knock it through. Um, so that was interesting. And Lou wasn't very happy, were you, mate? He, weren't, he wasn't a happy bunny. And the best of it is, because he was all on CCTV, um, I was watching him from when I was working in there and losing it. So, so that's that. So EV is going to run, it's run all the way through. And then we've tucked it back inside the garage to try and minimise on the brickwork. So let's run you around there. So the Zappi is here on these pillars. Um, so because we've got solar and stuff at the minute, we have got 1.8 kilowatts running back into the house. Um, and we're actually pulling um, and feeding back 0.8, more um, 8, 0.9 kilowatts back into the grid. Uh, as we speak. So it's a perfect setup for, for this house to be running their car. So there's site agents. So there's site managers, sorry, in, in there at the minute, they're in a meeting, so I ain't gonna walk in there. But basically the gist of it is, is the cable comes through, through there, up into the top, all the way around. And then we've got a lot of, um, all the controls for the doors and things like that um, are all running down that side. So. 
yeah it's been a bit of an eventful one um, but yeah so it's an old solar system so it doesn't actually create that much but one of the things that the client wanted here um, was he wanted the zappy on with all the extra ct clamps for that reason so you can now know when collecting all these data um, on how much the old panels are actually generating because the inverter which is actually up in the loft there's no way of reading that anymore because the the display has gone an absolute knacker so like i say it's a bit of a short sharp um video on that you've seen me install zappies before i just wanted to give you a little bit of a a um a view on it um so yeah so if you make sure you hit the subscribe button um turn your notifications on because i'm going to show you inside that bad boy it's a different way of building things but tune in because it's first for me